Okay. What's up, everybody? This is Papa Bale. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we're going to turn the, the multimeter on to read AC. Uh, this, all right. We're not going to drive it right now. We're not turning anything on or anything. But this coil and this coil are hooked up series circuit. I'm just going to whip it and we'll see what we get here. So up to 70 volts from my finger. Uh, I have a signal pulse uh, generator coming in the mail today. And I'm going to try using that to uh, simulate a reed switch. Uh, and that's my homemade reed switch, but I don't think the frequency is quite right with that. I mean, sometimes it's on, sometimes it's just not on. So I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Those cores, though, they're pretty, uh, so 20 volts. Five volts. Sixty volts uh, from these two coils. That's gonna go up to if I don't if I stop shaking down here on the thing here, it might go up to 70 volts. And that's automated, that's with the motor on, so I think that's pretty good. We got 63, 64, it might keep creeping. I think that's pretty good. With the two uh, cores on the on the rotor like that, it's like a good throw, you know. It's going pretty good. I know it can go way faster than this, but there we go. Just move it in a little bit. Ah, uh, now it's slowing down. You get it too close, it'll slow down. Get too far, it'll slow down. And then I think everything gets hot after a while. Point two amps, point three amps. I don't think we're gonna get it up to seventy though. So I think that signal emitter, or the you know, signal generator, <clears throat> pulsed at 100, uh, 240 hertz, is going to simulate the pulse just right. But 60 volts, we're going to call it, for the two coils right here. We got an old one from my last setup, and this one, uh, is a, I made it for a different pulse motor uh, that was using a horizontal shaft instead of a vertical one like this. And uh, I gotta work on that one too. It's not stable. But it's coming together. I'm getting all the pieces ready. Just using them. See, it's great because it's a uh, very modular. I can move this over to there, I can move that back to here, I can, but basically a core, if you decide to put a core in, you should leave it in. 
and I'll probably go against that a hundred times, but I'll always end up coming back to that. Like, you need to plaster that thing in there because <laughs> uh, you'll wreck your stuff if it's not in there good. All right, so um, the drive circuit, real quick, by filer. 26, 28. Four filer, 36. 34. Four filer, 34. Four filer, 32 gauge. And a six filer, and there's one of every gauge that I have in that coil. 40 turns worth. So there's six wires in there, and you got from 38 to. 26 except 30 there's no 30 uh, should be six all together there all right well thank you very much peace out have a good night please subscribe thank you